Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently call Germany our home. If you've been following our journey, our American parents recently flew into Germany to spend some time with us. So far, we have introduced them to the German Autobahn. We even let my dad drive. That's almost as fast as I've ever gone. <laughs> Tanner, you're scaring us. We explored Innsbruck, Austria, where we ate tasty Tyrolean food and then experienced a beautiful winter wonderland and attempted tobogganing in the Dolomites. Mm, I don't want to leave. So bad. Okay, ready. Here we go. Happy Hippos, Hippos. In this video, we are exploring the more than 1,000 year old town of Quidlinburg, situated in the Harz Mountains. Okay, I'm coming. Show us the way. Oh, oh are you okay, princess? You ready? Set. Go. Ta-da! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? The last time we came by Quidlinburg, we didn't stop to see it because we went to Wernigerode Road and to the Harz Mountains to be on top of the Brocken, and we took the train up there. It was magical, beautiful. It was only a couple months ago. We're excited to be here again. Honestly, we were hoping to go and do the suspension bridge and to do the swing from there. We'll see if weather holds out for this weekend, but we're still excited. Quidlinburg is known for half-timbered houses, and of course, like the Harz Mountain region, lots of witches are like on the decals of cars and areas all over the city. So multiple times my mom and I have been walking and almost fallen off the curb. For some reason, they're a little more intense here. And honestly, my first thought was, this is a good place to come if you want to induce labor and do some curb stepping. Tanner and I did do that when, we were, when I was pregnant with Willa. He was supporting me as I was hobbling up one leg down the other. Here we're in Quidlinburg, like Tanner said, and it is known to be so picturesque, so quaint and cute, and surprisingly, we hadn't made it here. We've been here for like 10 minutes, and it's very beautiful, very picturesque. It's reminding us of the town. What was that called? Wernigerode Road in the Harz Mountains. So they kind of have similar feeling. Makes sense because they're practically next to each other. I'm liking what I'm seeing and I can't wait to explore more. I think the main thing to do here is just wander the streets to get lost. We do have a map from the Airbnb host, but we have yet to pull it out. What color is that house? House. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Pink. And pink umbrellas, huh? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Hi. Sabes. Sabes. Stars, yeah, those are stars. Sterne. Green stars, orange stars. Yellow and orange stars? Green stars, yeah. A green stars? White stars. So many. What are you excited to find out here? A cream puff. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently that was the thing that she was most excited about during our last <laughs> videos. <laughs> Will is trying to call back to those guys that were calling from the top window, but... Did you know, Tracy, that there's an option to get ice cream in the middle of the cream puff? I didn't. But yeah. We should try it. We, if we can. So we're keeping our eyes peeled out for the next nearest bakery so we can get ourselves a Winbeutel and see if we can uh, <laughs> and see if we can get some ice cream in the middle of it too. <laughs> yeah, she wins over those boys for sure. <laughs> Well, it's true. 
Even when things are quiet and a lot of the shops are closed, I would still recommend Quidlinburg just to walk around, explore the cute alleyways, the streets, the buildings, take in the architecture. Tomorrow when we wake up, we're gonna try and go to a bakery to find my mom's cream puff. We're really hopeful about that. But you guys, look at this view here from our cute little Airbnb. It's really close to the Altstadt. This is not sponsored, just a cute find that we thought would be fun to share. The doorways are really short and like walking up the stairs, you do have to duck your head. I'm like five, four and a half and I still have to duck my head. So it's really cute to just see. It's like three levels and there's just so many cute rooms here. It's fun to get a taste of what houses are like here in the Harz Mountain region. <laughs> it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Wish us luck, Mom, that we find a cross and fingers. With chocolate and the other. <laughs> well, it has ice cream on the bottom, yeah. so. Where's well, could be the best place? Should we pick it up? I <laughs> should. <laughs> should we just get a spoon and get you some ice cream? <laughs> a big, big it is ice big. cream. Do you want to lick it? <laughs> you lick it again for it melts. I have yet to see these in the German bakery, the ones near us. So I wonder if this is specific to the Harz Mountain region. We don't know. Has pudding in it too. Mm -hmm. The top of it has like a donut icing on it. And then you can see there's the chocolate sprinkled over it. it tastes like a Twinkie base with some pudding in between. It's really good. My dad got a similar one, but with dark chocolate, it looks like on the top. That's good, but I think mine's better. You should try mine. I like the icing on the top. It's kind of got a little donut flair. <laughs> So as you can see, I took a bite of it and I actually really like it with the ice cream. It's like that vanilla bourbon. I should clean this off. Doesn't it's work. like a vanilla bourbon gelato it tastes like and the reason I know that is because when we get spaghetti ice That's what they use at our local ice cafe. It tastes very similar and it's really good much better than just the cream in it Oh the pumpkin seed bread. We love that bread As you can see we are still bundled up because it is very chilly last night the forecast was saying gale force winds and rain like all day and then this morning we woke up and it was like partly cloudy to like mostly sunny skies and we were like dang it because last night we canceled our booking to the titan bridge to do the suspension swing but now the clouds are starting to roll in i think the storm's starting to settle in a little bit so we're glad that we're not out there besides they probably would have canceled it but Kind of bummed, but now we're gonna make our next way on to Poland. So stay tuned for that video. We're ending this one here in Quidlinburg. What a cute, charming town. We're happy we were able to make a stop here. And thanks for being here, you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and if you haven't already, press that bell button to get notified of when we upload videos. Thanks, see ya. What is that? Choo-choo train. Yeah, what's the choo-choo train say?